Hi everyone, I'm Mark and this is my channel MBEDC. So before I go into the details of why this knife is legal in the UK to carry and this one is not, that's to carry in public, I just wanted to give a disclaimer. So I'm not a legal expert, I don't have a degree in law. I have read the UK knife laws and hopefully I can give you some information that you'll find useful. Uh, I've tried to distill it down as, as simply as I can. And if you do need to have a proper legal definition, then you need to go to a solicitor or a barrister. And the only way it's really determined is if it goes to court. There's a really good channel on YouTube called Black Belt Barrister, and he's done a couple of really good videos about knife law, and, and I think you'll find those useful. Hopefully you find something of interest in this video too. But really, you should check out the UK laws yourself if you're in the UK and if you carry knives. This is really aimed at my overseas viewers who keep giving me loads of questions about UK knife law, who don't always understand it, so hopefully this will make it clearer. Please listen around to the end because I've got a quiz and you can say on whether or not you think a knife is UK legal and we'll, and we'll go through that. That's, that's enough of the waffle, let's get on with the rest of the video. So I hope you enjoy it. This video just goes through the basic knife laws of the UK and I'm going to use these knives uh, to show some of the key points about those. Along the way, I will talk about some other things, such as the penalties for carrying a knife or weapon illegally. We'll also look at some of the banned knives and weapons. So these are ones that you aren't allowed to possess or bring into the UK uh, or sell or hire. And then at the end, I'm gonna have a quiz. So we'll go through some knives and I'll show you them and you think about whether they're legal or not legal to carry. Starting with the consequences. The maximum penalty for an adult carrying a knife or weapon illegally is either four years in prison, an unlimited fine, or both. You'll definitely get a prison sentence if you're convicted of carrying a knife or weapon illegally more than once. So the two strike rule. Also, irrespective of what sort of knife you've got. So even if it's a legal folder, as we go through, it's illegal to use any knife or weapon in a threatening way. It's also illegal to carry most knives or any weapons in public without a good reason. And I'll go through some of the things that could be considered a good reason later on. It's illegal to sell most knives or any weapons to anyone under the age of 18. Now there are two exceptions to these rules and these are folding pocket knives. And the folding pocket knives must have a cutting edge of no longer than three inches, that they're not lock knives, that they do not have a button, spring or catch that you have to use to fold the knife. So let's have a look at some examples. So this is my um, Mora knife or Mora Kniv, uh, a great knife for bushcraft. But if you look at this, it's a fixed blade. So it's, it's not legal for that point. If you look at the length of the blade, well, it's uh, four inches as well. So that's not legal at all. Not to carry without good reason. The same for this kitchen knife. Um, this is just one that I use for um, practice sharpening or when I'm trying out a new sharpener. So um, if it looks black, it's because it's got pen on it and, and I just use it for, um, for practicing sharpening. But this one, it's a fixed blade. And so because it doesn't fold, this would not be legal carry without good reason. This is the traditional Stanley knife. And even though the blade is super short, it has a locking mechanism and you need to have a pusher button to operate it, to close it. So that would be illegal to carry without a good reason. So what is legal? So my favorite knife, my Midnight Manager. So this has one blade and you can see that this is clearly way less than the three inches. It folds and opens 
without the use of anything automated and there's nothing to stop it shutting. So this is a slip joint and it's the back spring that gives some pressure against the knife closing, which just means it doesn't swing backwards and forwards, but it can be closed without having to press a button. So that's legal. And the same for this larger Swiss Army knife. This is a Pioneer X Alox. So this is still under the three inches. Now you may wonder where you measure it from and it's not 100% clear. So most people have been measuring from where the blade starts, where, where the sharp part of the blade starts. And you can see that this is well under three inches and it's about two and a half inches or uh, 65 millimeters. I believe that you're meant to measure it from where the handle finishes. So from here through to the tip and that would make it two and three quarter inches. So that makes it safe. And again, this is a slip joint. So you open and close it without the use of a button. So that's legal. Next, I have my Boca Atlas Plus. And again, this is a slip joint knife and measuring it from handle to tip, it's under the three inches. And again, this is a slip joint with a back spring. It will work the same if it was a, had a detent as well. And then finally, this is my Imperial Sod Buster. Again, this is another slip joint. Measuring this from handle to tip, it is under three inches. So that's legal as well. What are some of the good reasons that you might have for carrying a knife or weapon in public? So in, in this case, we're just gonna talk about knives. So if you need it for your work. So for instance, if part of your work is carpet fitting and you use a Stanley knife, then you would be able to carry this if you're in a public place, as long as you were carrying out your work. So if you were fitting a carpet in a shop or somebody's house, or um, even in a hospital, you would be allowed to carry this to do your work. The second good reason is for religious reasons and such as the kirpan that some Sikhs carry, that is an exception in the UK or if it's part of any national costume, such as with the Scottish national costume, there's a dirk or dagger that's carried in the sock. So I believe that that's exempt as well. Should you get stopped and the police are allowed to stop and search you if they believe that you're carrying a weapon um, illegally, then um, if they decide to charge you, because in their view, it's not a legal carry, then the court will decide. So that's ultimately where this counts. And so, for instance, in some previous cases, a butter knife. Um, I haven't got a butter knife, but this is this is the nearest thing I have. So this this is a table knife. But just to illustrate the point, um, it's not it's not sharp. It hasn't got a point. Um, but a butter knife with a fixed blade that was deemed to be an illegal carry. I think a lot of this comes down to the context. So if you're just bought a butter knife from a shop and were carrying it home, that would be fine. If you were maybe a young person who's involved in gang fights and you happen to have a butter knife to defend yourself, then that would not be okay. Similarly, with the Leatherman, now, this sort of multi-tool has a knife and a locking blade. And this, this locks, and when it's closed up, um, I can't see anybody using this in a knife fight because, you know, it would be over by the time you've got this out. But it is a locking blade. So even though it's less than the three inches, I believe that's so, it's just under three inches. This would not be legal carry without good reason. So I hear lots of people say that, um, that they've never been stopped. That's good. But I wouldn't carry this in a public place for fear of it being considered illegal, as, as I believe many policemen would consider that. 
So I do have it in a toolbox, sometimes in my car, but I don't have it on my person. So I'm not 100% sure if that's okay. As I said at the start, I am not a legal expert in this. I've read up on the law. Um, there are some other channels which I'll, I'll link to. Um, and one of those is, is a barrister. Uh, and he gives some really good guidance on this. I, I, I certainly suggest you watching that if you want to know more. But as far as the law is concerned, this would not be considered legal carry without good reason. So I hope that gives you some ideas about what would be considered good reason. When we talk about a public place, then this is anywhere with public access. So schools, colleges and prisons then and courts, no knives are allowed to be carried at all. In public access, um, so on the highway, uh, in hospital grounds, at a sports venue, uh, just on any street or road or shop, that would be considered being in public. If you're on your own property, um, that's not in public. I hope that's explained that okay. Before we go to the quiz, let's take a quick look at some of the banned knives and weapons. So if a knife or weapon is shown here, it is illegal to possess it, to bring it into the UK, to sell or hire it out, or to lend or give it to someone. There are some legal exemptions. For example, knives and weapons which are over 100 years old are exempt, except for flick knives. If you want advice on exemptions, you should contact your local police or get legal advice. I'll go through this list briefly. I think the thing that links all of these together is that they're considered to be offensive weapons. Starting with the knuckle duster, so this is a band of metal or other hard material worn on one or more fingers and designed to cause injury. That includes any weapon that incorporates a knuckle duster as well, so trench knives would be included in that. Then there's the hand claw and there's the foot claw as well. So these are bands of metals or other hard materials with sharp spikes that are worn around the hand or the foot. There's the belt buckle knife. So this is any buckle which incorporates or conceals a knife and essentially any disguised or concealed knives would be included with that as well. There's the push dagger. So this is a knife that fits into a clenched fist with the blade that protrudes between fingers. There's the hollow coubertin, which is a cylinder that contains a number of sharp spikes. Flick knives. So any knife that opens automatically from a closed position or partially open position to a fully open position by means of any manual pressure that's applied to a button, spring or other device. And this would also include a gravity knife as well. Then there are the cyclone or spiral knives, which is a weapon comprised of a blade with, which has two or more cutting edges, which forms a helix and a sharp point at the end of the blade. A curved sword with a curved blade of 50 centimetres or over in length. Then there are um, death stars or shurikens. Then the balisong or butterfly knife. I think most people know what these are. A telescopic truncheon, but you could also include a baton as well. So that's a straight side handled or friction lock truncheon. Then a blowpipe or blowgun. The kusari gama, which is a length of rope, cord or wire or chain fastened at one end to a sickle. Similarly, the uh, koyo ketsu shogi, so that has a hooked knife at one end or the man, manriki gusari or kusari, which has a hard weight at the end. Then there's a sword stick. Um, and again, I think this comes under the disguised knives. So similarly, if you had a knife that was disguised as a comb, brush, pen, cigarette lighter, key, lipstick or phone, they're also on the banned list. And then finally, there are zombie knives. So this is a knife with a cutting edge or a serrated edge and images or words suggesting that it's used for violence. And you need to have all of those elements present. 
So hopefully this gives you an insight into some of the banned weapons. Now for the quiz. I'm going to show some knives. I'll go through some of the features. I'll try not to give the game away and I'll give you a couple of seconds to guess whether this is legal or non-legal carry. So here's my open L. This is an open L number seven. It has the lock which keeps it closed. The blade length is dead on three inches from handle to tip and it has a locking collar. So this open L number seven, is this legal or non-legal carry? Time up. So this is non-legal carry. Now, some people remove the collar. Um, you can do that fairly easily um, and that would make it legal carry. This is a Victorian Ox Trailmaster or Trekker, I think it's sometimes called in the US. It's a 111 millimeter Victorian Ox. It has one handed opening and a liner lock and the blade length is three and a quarter, nearly three and a half inches. So legal or non-legal? Yep, yeah, I think you've guessed it. This is non-legal. So for two reasons. Um, interestingly, not the one-handed opening. That's not a problem. It's the liner lock and the length of the blade that's a problem. The other thing with this as well is it has a saw. If I can find it. Now the saw blade is three and a half inches and I think that could be considered um, outside of the folding less than three inch blade. I think this could well be determined to be a blade as well. Anyway, non-legal. Now here's a really interesting knife. This is the Twisted Assisted Best Tech Tulip. So a small knife with a flipper and it has a double detent to hold it open and hold it closed. The blade length on this is about one and a half inches. And you push it to close it. So is the tulip legal or non-legal? Well, hopefully you said legal because I have carried this. Um, there is a little bit of controversy around flippers in the UK. So far, they've not been considered um, as an automatic mechanism. So um, there's no tension holding this other than the detent on the ball. There's no spring. Uh, there's no button to open it, but there is uh, a flipping tab. So and it can be opened with one hand but it's free to close and it's not automatic. So as far as I'm aware, this is legal carry. Another small knife. This is the Spyderco Grasshopper. Now this is my only Spyderco and I do need to get another one. I have seen somebody do a one-handed opening, but I, I'm a bit of a wuss. I, I, I'm not able to do that. It, it is a bit stiff. So this is a slip joint knife and the blade length is two and a quarter inches. And apart from the back spring, there is nothing stopping it close. So is a grasshopper legal or non-legal carry in the UK? Yep, I'm sure you guessed it, it is legal carry. The only issue I might have about this is that it's is a slightly aggressive looking blade for something so small. It does look quite a lot like a scalpel. But other than that, it's legal. So this, this is one of the other questions that I get. Um, sometimes myself and other YouTubers talk about an aggressive looking blade or a less aggressive looking blade. So for instance, when you look at the Victorinox, I think 
as it's a Swiss Army knife, this is rarely considered to be aggressive looking, whereas something like this could be considered more aggressive. Um, even this tiny tulip, some people might consider that an aggressive looking knife. But I think it's about how you um, how you handle the knife um, when you choose to get it out. I mean, I, I've used the Spyderco a lot. When I'm in the office, we get free fruit and I use this to cut the fruit the fruit up. It's a, it's a super slicer. I also use this. I haven't had any comments. If I was to maybe bring out one of my larger knives um, that's sharper, I might get some comments. In fact, this one, this is the Real Steel Lunar Light. And I've added a thumb stud to make it one hand opening. This is under the three inches. And again, as with the other ones, it's a slip joint with a half stop. So legal or non-legal? Hopefully you said legal, and this is one I've carried. It's one I might not take to the office though, because it's a little bit more aggressive than the other ones. And um, it's a little bit more than needed to cut fruit. So I tend to use one of my smaller knives for that. This is my Milwaukee Fastback 6-in-1, and I love this knife. I think it's a fantastic utility knife. If you look at some of my other videos, um, then um, then you'll see why I like it. It's a locking knife and um, it has a utility blade. So the blade length is only, let me see, one, one and a quarter inches, give or take. It's not button operated to um, for it to come out. It's not spring loaded, but you do need to operate the button for it to come out. I think that's a good feature um, and you have to press the button to close it. So is this legal or non-legal? Yeah, I'm sure you guessed it. This would not be legal carry unless you're a carpet fitter or other tradesperson or going about your business. Last two knives in this game. So let's go through them together. This is the Civivi. Appalachian Drifter, and this is the real steel windmill. Let's look at the windmill first. So this is a slip joint for the main blade, and you can see it's got a great shape. The length of this is right on the three inches, possibly just over by a sixteenth of an inch or a millimeter. But I, I would say that's right on the border there. So it's a slip joint, not more than three inches. And I think that's just on it. And then with it, it has these super scissors. I, I will be doing a review of these later. And the scissors. Now, if you count the length of that, I, again, I think that is three inches from the handle to there. I don't know where we stand for scissors as a as an illegal weapon. I guess you take the length of the scissors there if carried. So this real steel windmill, is this legal or non-legal? Now I'm counting it as legal. Um, <laughs> I hope I don't get caught out with this. On the Heine Haines site, it was advertised as UK friendly carry, which is how they're often described. I would just be careful with that and check that the shop, the online shop has got that right. Because if they make a mistake, it's still your fault as you're the one responsible and carrying it. But I think Heine Haynes were correct and it's UK friendly. The last one. So this is the Civivi Appalachian Drifter. Um, really nice knife. It's a flipper. It's on a double detent. You can maybe just see that in the mechanism here. Let's see if we can catch it on there. So there's no spring, there's no button, there's just the flipper. 
and looking at the length of the blade, it's coming in at a whisker under three inches. So would you say this was UK legal or not for legal carry? Yeah, I'm sure you guessed it, it's legal carry or that's what I think it is. And until we get any clear um, law, so when you have precedent in the courts around flippers, I think we're considering these legal. Check out some of the other videos. I'll put a link to the Black Belt Bar Barrister and that gear guy. They both got really good videos on UK law. I hope you found this interesting. And uh, if you do and you haven't already, please subscribe. Please hit the like. It really helps me to know that I'm making the right sort of videos. If you like this one, why not watch this video or this playlist and I'll see you in the next video.